let's run through the features of the UV100 Pro 5G bonding encoder. It has a LAN port for gigabyte Ethernet connectivity, USB port for external devices, HDMI out for extra monitoring, HDMI input and SDI input from your camera. It also has a line-in and talkback communication headset, 3.5mm jack on the back, we have a 3.8 screw thread. You can use a quarter inch screw converter as well. There is a battery charging indicator. Flip over to the other side. You'll find a 15 volt DC input powered, either by a D mount battery, D tap cable, or a supplied AC DC converter. There is also a tele control demo connector, four nano SIM card slot. You can insert 4G or 5G SIM card. Take note of the slot for 5G applications. Extra connection ports and the power button. Alright, let's turn on the unit. And we can start live if a video source is connected to it. Press the top right hand green icon. The settings mode allow us to choose the features of live, record, and file transfer. The video tab allows us to set the frame rate, resolution, codec, and bit rate. Press the submit button to save the settings. The audio tab allows us to set the audio bit rate, sample rate, and number of channels. Press the Submit button to save the settings. The Transfer tab enables us to set the transfer speed. The most important setting at this point is the server settings. Make sure we set the same static server IP address for all devices. LAN tab is to set the local network. Either check DHCP checkbox or set a static IP. Select any available Wi-Fi to connect in the location. The monitor tab allows us to check the connection with the SIM card and to set the APN if necessary. Files tab is for transferring and deleting any recorded files on the server. Next is the Stream tab, where we can set Stream RTMP, HLS or SRT. For example, we can choose RTMP and set the RTMP address based on your content delivery network such as Vimeo, YouTube and Facebook. Enable the talkback function as the focus right Scarlet is set up with the server. The system menu allows us to perform a factory reset, adjust screen brightness, and set language of the device. Finally, the info tab allows us to check the software and hardware version. We can lock the screen by using the lock button. On the screen, we can monitor the signal as well as battery life and unit temperature. The Univision Mobile Live Broadcast control software allows us to monitor or change any settings remotely. First, install the software on your Windows laptop or PC. Double click on program after installation. Type the default name and password followed by the static IP address. Again, this information is obtained earlier when we set up the router. 
The dashboard gives us an overview of the signal health and video connection. Let's bring in the camera feed. Everything is powered by battery, so you can use it outdoors. We can also run a VMount battery in the provided bag, which has internal fan to prevent the device from overheating. The video signal is in. On the server side, you can record the video using an external recorder or send the feed to a vision mixer. Click the gear icon below the thumbnail. The functions are similar to the encoder. Basic tab allows you to change the device name and latency. Audio video tab to change the encoder bit rate. Logo to set the logo bug on screen. Stream tab for setting the address of the stream. Any PC in the system can receive NDI feed as well. The SDI tab allows you to change the format of the video source. To check the recorded files, simply click on the Files tab and choose the file accordingly. System tab for setting the server configuration. Network for checking system status as well as changing IP address. PDZ for remote PDZ applications and finally, the admin tab for adding or removing users. To listen to the video feed, increase or reduce the audio using the slider. To view full screen video feed, press the button on the top right hand corner. We have come to the end of this tutorial. I hope you had fun. Hit the like and subscribe button. And I will see you in the next video.